Hey guys, Indigo Films TV here again, and I thought in this video I would show you guys my community and go around so you can see the different parts of my community. That way when you guys visit, you guys can see what there is. Let me turn the volume down because it's kind of hard to hear me speak. I have a fan on also in this room, so anyways... You guys have seen some of my houses that I have bought that are pre-furnished. This is another one of my houses that I've built and it's original. I haven't done a review on this because there's not much that you guys can use from this house to complete your goals, but the white mansion is much better. But anyway, I created this house. It's a basic house with everything and the back part is supposed to be an area. If you guys, if anyone ever wants like a party, they could come here. and kind of have that party but let's see so you can see several of the pre-furnished houses here and the beach front let's go to the other side this is my beach side escape and I still have some vacant houses I'm not able to add sims yet because I'm not on that le on the next level where I'm able to add a new sim but anyways um, you can see some of the places like the real estate auction place, the auto dealer, um, the recording studio, the supermarket, and the supermarket, so okay, the auto dealer, you can pretty much go there, click on it, and you can use your simoleons or your life points to buy cars. Um, the most recent one that hey. I've bought is... Not the, I think the vamp mobile is really cool, but I actually bought the hearse, which I thought was cool. The sci-fi car, I don't really like the color orange, so I didn't buy it. And the luxury car already comes with two of the houses that I bought pre-furnished. And then the market, you can pretty much buy anything that your sims are able to make, and it's also limited to whatever level you're on. And the only difference between this and your sims making it is that you still have to pay for it, but you don't have to have any sims working on it, so your sims are free to do other stuff. Anyways, so that is the supermarket. You still have to wait for, you know, your things to, f your, like your plants to finish growing and stuff. And then this is the nightclub, which I've shown in a other video. There's no one here right now, but you can see the bar area as well as the DJ booth and the disco ball and the booths for your sims to sit at. That was the dance studio, uh, the nightclub, I mean. And it's nighttime, so it's, you can tell it's kind of dark in my, in my town. This is the community center, or the sports center on the other side of town, which I have one of my preteen sims doing pirouettes, and, um, that's one of my goals, as you can see right here. Do your preteen sims aspire to dance just like Kevin, SimCon, and Feet Loose? Visit the community center, set the mood with some music, and practice the pirouette extensively. So, it's talking about Footloose, which is a movie that I don't think I've seen yet. And I have my Sims woodworking here also. One of them actually just finished. And this happens once in a while, and it's kind of annoying when your Sim doesn't catch it, because it kind of feels like just a waste of time when they don't catch it, which he's not going to catch it because it's flying out the window. Oh well, I'll just, I usually have them do back-to-back -back stuff that is relevant to their hobbies or their jobs that way it's more convenient and their basic needs don't go all the way down because if they stand around doing nothing for too long then they actually, um, they start to get more hungry and need to use a toilet and stuff faster. Um, anyways, you can see the party boat here, um, that's all of you guys. And um, below that is the science center. This is the competition cent the competition center, and um, the field for athletes. And uh, I think this is a movie studio. And this is the school for your preteens and your kids. This is my pro skater's dream pad right here, and this is the swimming center. I know I called it the competition center in my other video. Oops, my bad. 
is actually the swimming center and I have one of my sims swimming right now or diving actually practicing diving so that was the swimming center um, if you guys need to use any of these things, um, you can definitely go. Like, if you guys need to do woodworking, you don't need a house that has a bench. You can just go to the competition center, which is the one that I showed you right here, to do any woodworking goals. But you guys have also seen the snow park, which I've reviewed in my other videos, if you guys have seen that one. And I have some of my Sims skating on here right now. Um, I haven't unlocked the ski lift yet, so that's what I'm working on, but this is the ski lift goes all the way up. I've already shown this in my other video, but there's also the the ski lodge. And that is the snow park. Let's go back to... This is the kids section where you can buy stuff for infants, toddlers, and preteens. And um, this is a fashion store where you guys can um, select whatever sims you guys want and basically choose items for them. I already have sunglasses and an umbrella for this sim, but you can change their outfits. It's, it has more, I guess, cool designs, but this one's just kind of weird. So I'm not going to get that. I think the pirate one is cool, but I don't really feel like using lifestyle points on that. And same thing with the swimsuits. You can choose newer swimsuits that are more unique. And I have one. This isn't the default one, so I actually bought it from this store. And um, the tattoos are actually later something else. It's actually part of the barber shop. So this was the fashion store in which you guys can buy different styles of clothing. Um, and this is the salon that I was just talking about right now, which is something that you guys can go to and um, change your Sims hairstyles. They have a lot more of a variety of hairstyles, and it's more modern than the ones that you can use on default. And you can add some tattoos or other makeup that I guess they consider to be more expensive. And that doesn't come with default. And these are also, um, there's a section for contact lenses and glasses and earrings, which I bought this sim sunglasses. Some of them are bought using lifestyle points. Others are used, are bought using simoleons. So that's the salon. And let's see what else we're going to visit next. There's also the hobby store, which you can buy all your different things. And in my white mansion, I have all of these except for for the blackboard because I haven't had a goal yet where I had to use it so I haven't wasted my money on it yet since I don't have to use it. Um, you can see the fire station here next to the white mansion and what else is there? There's the park which you guys probably have all heard of and I have one of my sims fishing um, that's her hobby. But yeah, you guys, I've covered this in my other video also, the different things that you can do here. But I think that was the last building that I have to show you guys. Everything else is um, pretty much you can't go in. But yeah, there's, I mean, this is the city hall and if you guys want to give your sims a job um, most of my sims have jobs the one that I just created using um, that I showed you guys cr that I created is unemployed so I can just click her name and then choose whatever occupation and then you can look at the times to see whatever works and um, you can accept it and then they have like the rate and stuff so you guys can decide and then kind of you can build off their you can build on their skill and their hobbies and that's what all these levels and these green things mean on this side these are the hobbies so that's what you can do and that's pretty much it and this is again my party boat um like i said i actually can't see everybody who's friends with me on game center it only allows me as you can see 100 people so whoever the top hundred is I can see I can't see anyone else unfortunately 
Um, but yeah, your guys' neighbors neighborhoods are still pretty awesome. They're really awesome. Um, anyways, that's it for showing you guys around my community.